Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and we're here to talk about some perfumes. If this is a topic that interests you, luxury, perfumes, fragrances, niche fragrances, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss more of my uploads. Today, I am gonna do a top 10 list, which I know you guys love top 10s. They're actually fun to watch, I get it. I did some thinking because I have done a lot, a lot of hauls and shopping in 2021 so far. I mean, I can't even publicize all of them. I can't keep up literally. Like you would just be watching haul after haul and there'd be no fun videos. I mean, they're fun, but I mean, it gets old, right? So. I thought about it and I wanted to look at what my top 10 best purchases were in 2021. Now mind you, that's not necessarily a top 10 list because I have perfumes that I had before 2021, but I have bought quite a bit this year. So, and a lot of it blind. Now I don't endorse that and that is why I don't endorse it and why I'm also trying to change my habits. But some of them are blind and they're really good. So my top 10 purchases are this. So let's get to it. Number 10 on the list is by Tiziana Terenzi, Kirka. Uh, this one, if you, designer wise, a lot of people know La Vies Belle by Lancome. This one is similar in that it has that prominent pear note. I've heard this compared to Herba Pura and some other Zerjoffs, no. This is not like, yes, in that it's a fruity floral and that's about it. Notes wise, no, it is not like, and I have all of those Zerjoffs, I promise you. But it is like Levius Bell and it is like the next one on my list because of the prominent pear note that's in here. I do love this. This is serious compliment getter to the point where Guys that I do sports with have asked me for the perfume information so they can buy it for their wife because they liked it that much. Now that to me is the ultimate compliment. I'm just saying. Okay, that's number 10. And you can find this like Fragrance by CA in Canada. You can find that at the discounters. So I highly recommend you shop for it. And don't necessarily assume that a percentage code like 30% off is going to be the best price because I know some places that advertise that and it's not the best price. I keep a spreadsheet of all those prices and what I want at all the different places for sale so that I know if it's truly a deal or not. Okay, so that's number 10. Number nine is a little similar and it's by Louis Vuitton and it's Corbatant. I love this one. I had samples of this for a long time and finally got a bottle of this. This is, uh, gosh, it's so good and it will fill your car. It's a fruity floral. Again, the prominent pear note. It's sweet. It's captivating. I had a sample of this when I was at the mall and then got in my car to go home and had to literally do a U-turn and say, okay, that bewitching fragrance has to come home with me because holy cow, it was just filling that little like paper. It was on paper and it was like in my shopping bag, filled up my whole car or maybe I spray sprayed myself with it, filled my whole car while I was driving home. And I was like, okay, that is amazing. Gosh, is that like a magnolia in there or something? Like there's it's really pear like you really get that pear note in there is really what just consumes everything else just like yeah man that is good I recommend it I mean I don't like all of them from Louis Vuitton but I really like this one okay number eight so this one's funny because I've always been a fan of this house this house is I have a tremendous reverence for this house and the perfumer behind it. Um, I've grown my collection in this house. I have um, gone deeper into the rabbit hole with some of the more, much more exclusive fragrances from there, but it's from Raja, the Raja Dove collection. Um, so I 
I, I, 51. Now, mind you, I'm going to say 51, the perfume and the essence. Now, I've heard, uh, okay, let's talk about this. So, there is the Pour Homme and there is the Pour Femme collections, and he has different collections within it in different tiers. This colored collection in the purple, the essence, as well as the men's cologne collection, which is the purple, like the, the, the colored bottles of the green and the red and the blue, and you have all those cologne. In the Pour Homme, there is a little bit of differentiation in the formula, in the Pour Femme, I've heard people say, oh, it's a, a lightened up ver formula. It is the same formula. It is a different concentration. This is identical. I own them both. I'm telling you, they are identical. It is a different concentration and evaporation rate. That's what you're getting. So this smells stronger in the first 10 minutes and then they eat, they're the same. And then this one will keep going and last you 10, 12 hours where this one where Peter Peter's out like it's six hours. But I will tell you that sometimes I like this. I'm the kind of person that wears two to four fragrances a day. So maybe I want this for during the day for work and then I'm gonna wanna switch to something later. I actually like the fact that it's gonna last less. It's gonna be intense and not last as long and then I can switch it up. I like that sometimes. That actually works for me. Other times, I want to be one and done, and I want to wear something that is going to hang out with me for 12 to 24 hours. This isn't 24 hours. This will give you 12. So it's, you know, a time and place for both for me. I mean, I, I know not, not a lot of people can afford both. I get it. I get it. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying they, they serve me different purposes, but they are identical, unlike the poor Homme version. So that is my little rant on that. I will be covering a lot more of Raja because I do have quite a bit. Not a lot of people have them. I have perfumes that I have not seen reviews on. There's not a lot of women doing reviews on the exclusive Rajas. So I'm going to be covering them more. And I do have a monster shipment coming from Raja that I'm waiting for. I've got um, probably like over six bottles of the deluxe really exclusive ones coming um i've got like h i've got the harrods um the i always want to say vandalay like seinfeld you know mr vandalay art vandalay but it's the pierre delay i don't know seinfeld people there new yorkers know that i'm talking about but anyway the pierre delay rare i have that coming too i have a whole bunch coming so i have not seen reviews on those let alone a feminine perspective on wearing those fragrances. So I do have a lot I'm going to be covering. Just bear with me. I kind of want them all to come and I want to spend some time with them. Raja's you cannot do snap reviews on because they're journeys. They're, they're masterpieces. Okay. So that's enough of Raja. There'll be a lot more Raja coming up, but number seven, seven is one that I was slow to. I admit it, it's not new, it's been around. Everybody else knew it was really cool. I was slow to that game. And that is Tom Ford to Back Beneath. So yes, I only got this in 2021. Very slow to that game, but I did have like an atomizer, but I finally got this and this is just a ride or die for me now in the fall and winter and um, probably even early spring when it's still a little crummy out ride or die, like absolutely love this fragrance and it's amazing on men and women and it's just, it goes so easy. I mean, this goes with jeans and a cashmere sweater and it it goes dressed up for dinner in a little cocktail dress. You know, it just, it's it really works. It, it's, I like a versatile upscale fragrance. I do like that. That gives you that put together final touch like, putting on the perfect lipstick kind of feel or the perfect shoes to make the outfit. This is like that perfect fragrance to finish off the outfit. I like it. So that's my, uh, gotta keep track here. 10, nine, eight, seven, oh, I'm terrible. It's the going backwards thing. 
The next one is a new addition to mine and I am ecstatic for this. And again, I wanted to get it, wanted to get it, wanted to try it and was like, huh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I didn't know enough about it. And then I finally got this, I ordered this from Paris, is Memo Paris. What's going on? Is that an earthquake? Okay, weird. Anyway, um, from Memo Paris, and I am just starting to get into this. I've just required a few bottles. I will do a video on this house also. Uh, I'm just waiting for a few more to come in. It's like always waiting for a few more to come in. But um, I have three right now. But in any case, Tamarindo. Holy cow, Tamarindo. You know I love my tropical fragrances, right? I mean, if you watch me, you know by now, love, love tropical fragrance. Holy cow, this is such a delicious, delicious tropical fragrance that'll put you in a good mood. Man, oh man. So this one has, it opens with some citrus notes, which is like most fragrances. And a little touch of cardamom, I'm not crazy about that. But it has that pineapple, peach, and coconut, ylang ylang, jasmine, all these things. It has the vanilla and benzoin, like everything I love. Like, hello, are you trying to woo me? Because you are singing my tune. I love those tropical kind of, probably because I live in a tropical environment, right? So I just love this. This is just so easy to throw on. I do think this is a more casual fragrance, just by my taste. I think this is a, a put together casual is what this is. It's a relaxed, a relaxed outfit is what this would go with, I think. But I absolutely love this. And again, this is unisex. I just, if you like tropical fragrances, man, man, oh man, I, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wax poetic about that. So now we're at the top five and these are all like ugh, best purchases ever. So we have one that again, late to the party and didn't like this the first time I tried it. But again, I tried it off season. I tried it in the summer because this is definitely a winter fragrance. And I was a little off put by it. I was like, whoa, that's a strong one and just waited till cooler weather and tried it again and fell in love. And that is the masterpiece by Dominique Ropion, one of my favorite perfumers. I've learned to say one of, because I have several super favorites now. Uh, he is one of them, is Portrait of a Lady. I love this. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. With that deep, sultry, jammy rose. And this is just, Wow, if you like fragrances like Oud Bouquet, I think that's a popular one that people would probably know. With that jammy rose, but like intense kind of base to it that's really like deep and dark, but also the sweet jammy rose up there. It's just, it has a lot of facets to this. Man, it has like a woodsiness to it. And it's just, Wow, this one, dressed up. You need to be dressed up to wear this one for sure. This is, um, or you're gonna look a little like, it's a little like disjointed or out of place. Like if you're casual wearing this, it's, just, it's gonna be like wearing your Valentino rock studs with your spandex, just a little like, what? You know, a little disjointed like that. So this is dressed up and this is your black dress. This is to the nines. This is, yeah, this is nice. This is, this is great. This is for you and your husband on date night. Actually, you know, this is actually a unisex fragrance. This one works well on both. This is amazing. So many times, you know, it's funny. I'll hear the men reviewers saying, you know, this is amazing on a man. I don't know what it's like on a women. one. I don't know. Maybe they could wear it. And then you'll hear the women reviewers saying, this is amazing on women. I don't know if a man can wear it or not. And it's so funny that we just don't know that crossover because these will smell a little different and great in their own way. I mean, I'll put them on my male friends or boyfriends and, and try them and I'm like, wow, it smells so different on you and so fantastic as well, just with a different angle on it. It's, wow, it's crazy. And this is one of them, like it's, whew, that's a good one. All right, now 
Moving on. This is a house that I discovered in 2021 and man, it is so underrated. I think all the true frag heads know about it. Uh, not everyone knows about it, but it is Perfumum Roma. And man, I have, uh, I think I have seven bottles already. And I just discovered this in 2021. I bought a bunch of samples and two bottles blind with high reference. And then quickly bought several more and I just ordered four more. So I, I, I like want them all. These are phenomenal. Now, if you have a job, and I hear this from some people, like they have an amazing perfume collection, but they don't wear it every day because they have a job where they can't wear these perfumes. They're, they're either in food or they're in medical or um, they're just in close quarters to a lot of people or they it's against their working policy where they're, it's literally in their handbooks, they can't wear fragrances, but I hear it from people and they love their fragrances, they wanna smell good. We like to smell ourselves, that's why we love these perfumes, right? We want to smell them on ourselves. This is one of those where you will smell yourself for at least a day, if not two, if you don't shower. Like, I, I couldn't tell you the max because I've showered before this was gone, but you will smell it in your own bubble. You will smell yourself nice and strong all day long. It's like magic, I don't know how they do it. But you're not, there's no sillage. You're not gonna say, hey Maria, I could smell you were here. I didn't see you, but I smelled you. Like you're not gonna get that. So it will be in your own bubble where you get to enjoy it. And if somebody is in your personal space, they're probably gonna smell it but you're not going to impose on anyone else. I'm gonna say this stays within a foot of you, which is a good thing and it lasts forever, it's very oily. So if you're in a position where you really, maybe you're gonna be on planes and you don't want to irritate the people subjected to you or something like that, these are phenomenal because you will get to enjoy this fragrance. So I just randomly picked Dolce Aqua because it's a sweet, little elixir like a sugar water that is really easy to please and you will just have this sweetness overcoming you. They're all amazing. Just check out my video on these and all the different fragrances. And again, men and women, like these are phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Top three is, ugh, I don't know, I had like an issue acquiring this, but I have it now and it is one of my favorites is the Selfridges exclusive Herba, Herba Gold. Herba Gold, not like Herba Pura, Herba Gold. And this one is a fruity fragrance, powerhouse, juicy fragrances. It's not sharp, it's smoother. Um, I've heard some of them compared to, or I should say I've heard Kajal's Lamar compared to Herba Pura. This, I don't see that personally. Um, Lamar is a pineapple note, where Herba Pura is a fruit bowl. Kirka is pear. This is like your orange fruits, like your peaches. It's a fruit bowl, but your yellow and orange fruits is what I get from it. There's no single fruit that stands out. And Lamar I find to be sharper with the pineapple, almost like a sweet and sour kind is what I get from it. Almost like apricot is sweet and sour. And this is definitely sweet and creamy, like a Zerjoff always is. What's going on here? Which is why I love Zerjoff because they have that creaminess to them. They're not, sh it's not sharp. So check this one out. Um, Selfridges will ship to you. So um, although I, there might be an issue in the EU, I think Brexit can't ship from England to Europe. I don't know, but I'm sure Zerjoff will also bring this around like they do their exclusives for some kind of special too, but that is Herba Gold, really like it. And it was hard to choose which was my favorite fruity fragrance from Zerjoff that I acquired because I acquired quite a bit this year from Zerjoff. Which brings me to the next one. Number two, favorite acquisition that I purchased in 20, because I purchase all my own fragrances. These are not given to me. These are all purchases that I have made. These are not like PR given to me. 
I know there's a lot of people like that and it's easy to promote what you didn't have to pay for, but I pay for these with my own money and there's a certain value to something when you've had to pay for it. So in any case, that is Zerjoff's Ivory Root. I mean, it makes sense because I mean, I like tobacco vanilla. So obviously I love a good creamy vanilla with some spices in it. And that's what Ivory Root is. Is I, I feel like this is better than tobacco vanilla, but in that same wheelhouse. Man, oh, gosh. And again, completely unisex. This list is fairly unisex. Man almighty, I love this one. And, you know, anything from the JTC collection, they're not simplistic. The notes are vaulted. So anything from the JTC collection, you can look at Fragrantica. Those are not really the notes. They are vaulted, meaning they're a secret. And even Fragrantica is not going to give you the proper, like, most prominent notes. They're going to give you some, but they can be a little misleading. I'm just saying that a lot of people don't notice that. So... But this is a vanilla with probably some cardamom and cinnamon and incense. It's just, oh, man, I love this one. Ivory root. And this will take you on a little journey all day long. Number one, my best purchase. Oh, this one. When I first received this, I had done a haul with it and was about to give a little mini review and stopped in my tracks because it was way too complicated. I was like, yeah, we're, we're like cut this because we need to spend some time with this baby. This is way too complicated. And that is Raja Dove's Nuwa. And I mean, you can tell just by looking at all the notes I have <laughs> written. I mean, trying to like take notes of what I'm finding out about this and I did get a full bottle of this it is on my way I'm really excited because Raj is going to sign it for me too so I'm super super excited but this fragrance man oh if I you know I'm a fickle person for me to pick a signature scent I haven't been able to in decades like I haven't been able to since my 20s probably it's just I, I'm way too fickle I love too many fragrances but if I had to choose this would be it. This one right here. If I had to live with just one fragrance and that was it, only one. It's a very expensive one to make your only fragrance. Woo! Yeah. What is this? I think this goes for a thousand dollars, the bottle? Or something crazy? I just, yeah, I can't even look at the, yeah, my, the bill I paid was like insane. So yeah, I think I need it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, very expensive but this one is just the epitome of luxury and it got on my cashmere sweater and I just I just grabbed that sweater and just nuzzled my face in it and was smelling it and was like this is so amazing it gives you this cashmere kind of blanket around you this fragrance just that orris root bubble around you this one is very powdery you have to like your powdery notes Raja does do powdery in a lot of his fragrances. It's part of his little signature. Some are more powdery than others. Uh, this is definitely a more mature fragrance, something for a confident person. Um, there's something addictive. It's very powdery in the beginning, and that powderiness settles down a little bit after like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It settles down. It's not so powdery and more of that orris root cloud around you less than that like violet kind of powder that you get there is vanilla sandalwood in the powder and that orris root powder remain in the base and you just get oh what here? so it opens with bergamot and grapefruit and then you have in the middle rose de my orange blossom jasmine in the base is clove cumin pepper sandalwood benzoin vanilla and pear balsam and it's just the thing with Raja's is you can't look at the notes because he is so incredibly gifted at blending. It's that's why you can't dupe him. You you can try to dupe, you can even source from the same place, but you can't dupe because what he's so good at is blending. That is like 
you can paint the Mona Lisa also, but there is that signature DNA to the artist that you just, it's like a handwriting. It's, you just can't take that away. And it's the details, right? Any craft that you are, if you are in construction, if you are an artist, if, if you're an architect, if, if you groom pets, the difference between somebody that's adequate at their job and somebody that is excellent at their job is always in the details. That is always what sets people apart, details. He is so honed in on those details and that blending. You can't look at his fragrances and pull apart the notes because they're blended to the point that they create their own scent. You're trying to describe something completely new that is different than the sum of its parts. It's not just its parts, something totally different. It's like you have hydrogen and oxygen, but now you have water. You can't describe water as something on your hands, like, oh, it's some hydrogen and it's some, it's just, it's a whole new thing. That's what it's like with Raja. He just creates these things that are just masterpieces. And I hate to use that cliche word, but my goodness, I really do have a true reverence for that man as a, as a perfumer. So, and, and new, uh, you know, and who knows with the shipment I have coming, that could change. I did do some very, very high value wine buys, but I do have a large collection of Raja's. I do know his DNA. I do know which ones stuck. I mean, I'm, I'm, Quite, I'm, I'm a bit proficient with his collection that I know what runs what way. I know that um, these lines are for the mass appealing. They're lower end in the price point. They're also more mass appealing in the fragrance profile. As you go up the scale to the more exclusive ones, they are less mass appealing on purpose. They are, you know, for a certain type of person. There's a smaller demographic it's going to appeal to not just because of the price tag, but also for the olfactory um, factors. So I just happened to know what leans what way that I felt like it was an educated blind buy, shall we say. So, but I have a feeling this may or may not get bumped out of first place, but we'll see. I'm really looking forward to some of them and it's gonna be an exciting video. Um, but right now, man, Nua, it's just, it's probably unisex. I think it's one of them from his line that is really nice for a woman. Um, I feel like the, the lower end of the collections tend to be a little more masculine or feminine. And as you go up the ranks, they get more unisex. Um, but I, this one is just magical, magical to me. I mean, ugh, oh my, I, there's like a peach in there. A little bit of like a peachy note to it. Did I even mention peach? I don't think so. Yeah, there's, there's, maybe it's the orange blossom, but I do get a slight peachiness. And obviously there's a lot more notes than what he's alluding to. But I think if you like the Poor Femme perfumes by him, you like the Creation E, you like 51, you like Reckless, and you want to do another one that is more exclusive, a little more refined, going like a little bit further up there. Um, along the lines of something you might get from Clive Christian, just really gorgeous. Try this one, just try and get your nose on it. I think you'll really like the new one. It's so, uh, yeah. I'll try to do a full review on this one. And even the background of the name, Nua. I mean, at first, you know, with the umlaut, I thought it was German pronounced, you know, biased German. It's actually Asian, but hey. Anyway, that is my top 10 best purchases I made this year. I am really happy with all of them and I use all of them and I'm in love with all of them. Even after purchasing a lot of other ones after them, I just, yeah, I'm pretty darn happy with those. So anyway, thanks guys for sticking around for this. I know it was long and I will see you in the next one. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like hearing about these perfumes, 
please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I put out another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.